This card right here could potentially save you millions of dollars every single year in taxes. This is a Dubai issued driving license, which I have because I drive a lot in Dubai and I recommend every single client that goes through Wealthy Expat gets a Dubai driving license. We actually go to the transport authority and get it with you. And this particular document is one of the most important documents that countries use to tie you back to the country to be a taxpayer. If you have a driving license issued in Canada, Australia, any country in the European Union, and you cut off all your other ties, but you don't cut off the driving license and you use that driving license around the world, then you could potentially still be a tax resident. And getting a Dubai issued driving license is one of the easiest things that you can possibly do. So it makes absolute sense to do it. Once you become a resident of Dubai, once you have the Emirates ID and you actually have the ability to live in the UAE, all you need to do is go to the Road and Transport Authority, the RTA, we can go with you if you like. And if you have a license issued in most countries around the world, like for example, the United States, you can exchange your license if it's issued in English. Some countries, they don't issue licenses in English. For example, in the Netherlands, you have a license that sometimes is Dutch and English, sometimes it's only Dutch. So you need to translate it to English and you can directly exchange it without giving up your original license. You can go to this website right here. I'll put the text down below. That is the RTA website to check if you need to exchange your license and if you need to give up your license in order to have a Dubai issued driving license. Sometimes depending on the country, for example, with Russia, I have employees that are from Russia or have the Russian passport. You need to still take classes or you need to take a test in order to get the driving license. And that happens with many countries around the world that the UAE deems not amazing enough to have a direct exchange with the UAE license. You do need to go through around 20 to 40 hours of testing and training and education, depending on how much time you've had your home country license. I specifically had to go through 20 hours of training because my license was issued in Puerto Rico and Puerto Rican driving license are not considered US driving license. So I had to go through 20 hours of education, then I had to do a theory test, then a road test. And overall, the best experience that you'll have if you have to do the tests and you have to do the training and all of that is with Emirates Driving Institute. I took the VIP package, it's around five, 6,000 US dollars, and they take you throughout every single step you get it in the best possible way and you drive a G-Wagon while you do it. If you wanna go back home to drive in your home country or drive in another country, you might want to get an international driver's license on top of your UAE issued driving license because some countries don't accept a UAE issued driving license. There's around 50, 55 countries that accept this license. I haven't had absolutely any problems, knock on wood. I've driven in over 12 countries around the world and I've never had an issue with a UAE issued driving license. If somebody gives you issues, then you have the international driver's permit in order to not be, let's say, not allowed to rent a car or stopped on the street with the police. Do you have a question for me on paying less taxes in Dubai and overall creating a tax residency setup in Dubai? Drop them down in the comments. I will answer every single comment on this video, which is rare because I usually don't do it, but drop them down, I will answer all of them. As a Dubai resident and paying zero taxes in Dubai, if you structure it all properly, having a Dubai issued driving license will help strengthen your case against your home country's taxes, saying that you actually live in in Dubai and you're actually tied to Dubai. Obviously you need to do this process properly. We can help you a wealthy expat. You need to spend a lot of time in Dubai. You need to actually get your banking and your finances, everything set up properly in Dubai so your home country doesn't tax you. But the driving license is one of the most important documents that you need to have in Dubai if you wanna pay zero tax. If you're looking to move to Dubai or set up residency in Dubai and you wanna know more things that you should be aware of when going to Dubai, check out this video right here on the ultimate guide to moving to Dubai and getting residency in Dubai and the so you can lower your taxes right now. Check it out right here.